Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another Ikoria draft. Unfortunately, they are not as exciting as cube drafts, but it's what we got. Well, so my problem is that for some reason my body can't sleep more than four hours, and I don't know why. I just wake up, and then I can't get back to sleep. So... I mean, I've tried staying up the whole day and making myself more tired. I've tried taking melatonin. Like, I took melatonin last night, went to bed at 4, woke up at 8. Like, without fail. Stayed up for a little bit, uh, fell asleep around 1 again, and woke up at 6. So, it's like, it's just been murder. Absolute murder. Yeah, so, I don't know. I don't know what to do about it. For how long has it been going on? Um, On and off for a while. <laughs> it happened some in Florida, then I got curtains. Curtains helped. I don't have curtains here. So, like, once it gets, like, 6 a.m., like, the sun starts creeping in. And I definitely think that has some effect, maybe. But hard to say. Um, Jake, it might be worth asking your doctor out. The problem is, like, my healthcare is Florida-based, so I actually have no idea who I'd even go talk to about it, you know? And, like, I'm sure it'd be out of network, so it'd be, like, super expensive and, like... I don't know. <laughs> the problem is American healthcare incentivizes you not to go to the fucking doctor, so it's like, well... Uh... Is your mattress... Am I hurting? No, my mattress is great. I feel like it wouldn't be sleep apnea because I don't feel tired, right? Like, usually with sleep apnea, you feel tired all the time. And, like, for me, it's the opposite. I'm just, like, wide awake. So, I don't know. Do I have a history of insomnia? I don't think so. Inner Mountain has sent you a bunch of mail. That's true, actually. Good lord. That's true. You guys practically invited me here. Um, so, Super Fritz, you actually uh, have hit my biggest uh, theory on the head. I do feel like it might be anxiety related. Just because I do suffer from anxiety and, like, I, my thoughts are going 900 miles an hour every day. Uh, I like Recluse. I like Back for more. Um, glider's fine. I think Back for more is pretty strong. Yeah, I could see it being anxiety, like, especially with COVID. Like, I've heard COVID actually is causing... Uh, Mike actually told me that, that there's been an increase in people having more vivid dreams. Um, due to the virus and due to like all the stress and like anxiety from, from that, you know, but yeah, I think there's a lot of anxiety cause I'm like moving in like a month or so, you know, like middle to third week of June, me and Katie and Mike are getting a place in Denver. And so I'm moving again. So I have to find a place, you know, like I'm, I'm, I'm budgeting finances and like, and like being a, a content creator, uh, Blood Curdle is pretty good for a second pick. Being a content creator is like stressful to begin with because your income comes from like, I, I probably have like 15 different sources of income that I have to account for every month, you know, and make sure that, you know, I'm accounting for them, I guess. <laughs> Um, this pack is pretty unimpressive. Could just take Blitzleech. I actually think Blitzleech is usually a two for one. At least a one for one. It's not worth going into a third color. Uh, I do like Bushmeat Poacher. I'm going to take Duskfang Mentor, though. Lifelink Counter is probably one of the better ones, I think. Which is why it's balanced out by putting it on a 1-3. 
Deadweight's fine. I'm actually not super impressed with Deadweight in this format, but I'll take it. Boot Nipper, decent. Moscow Gorgax, decent because you can mutate onto him. But we're not getting many mutatoes. Dark Bargle. It's one of these three, right? Ow. Just take the Boot Nipper. I like it because it does combo with Dust Fang Mentor as a lifelink creature. Plus, giving it Death Touch is just always good. Well, boot number is the only card that would be in our colors, with our colors being black and maybe green. And I don't think any of these other cards are actually worth switching to, so. I'll just take boot nipper number two. Nipping them boots! Um. Meh. I don't know why this doesn't have an ability. It's weird because, like, this is obviously a creature that's just, like, meant to be mutated onto, right? So. Like, weird, because, like, you have the uh, the main servo, which has Vigilance. You have the 2-4 Moss Coat Goriak, which has Vigilance. This one gets Vigilance or or Reach. So, like, it has all these... There's all these creatures with, like, um, you know, pretty, pretty evergreen keywords. Because then they benefit the, uh, the mutation... If you're not losing sleep in 2020, something's wrong with you. The therapist didn't have enough time in the day. My opponent was on the side. That's that's nuts. But I mean, like, it makes total sense, you know? Like, I can totally understand that. There we go. Um, thing of combat on your turn. I'll just take unlikely aid. Indestructible ain't terrible. Yeah. Oh, all right. I'll take a Sultai Crystal. Yeah, like I've definitely have been having way more vivid dreams. It's really weird. Oh, got another, got another Ghidorah, Giruda, Gigan, 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 you know what I'm saying. We're definitely taking that. Um, hmm. I mean, the thing is we're going to play it in our deck either way, so. The artifacts, guys, the artifacts actually seem terrible. Eh, Triumph's actually not bad if we want to play white as well. Sonorous Halbonder's the only thing in here. Could take a great cocoon, but I don't think it's I don't think it's great. Yeah, we'll take Triumph. God, if this guy didn't cost nine, like, nine mana is just so much. I mean, if we're not green, we could splash green for the back for more. Or for the, yeah, for the back for more. But then we don't get to play crystal to help splash it, which is awkward. You don't get to play mentor or dead weight. Yeah, I mean, it's a 6-6, six, six. like, it's not bad. I 
actually cycling this and also back for more? I'm in for that. Yeah, I'm down. Uh, I'll take another dead weight, probably. It's better than the brush wag. It's monstrous step that bad? I don't even know. I, mean, I don't want to take another blitz le blitz leech. Moscow Goriax fine. We'll try Monster Step. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> I guess we're taking another Blitz Leech. Um, could take Plummer for the sideboard. Yeah, I like that better. Naturalist is decent. Hmm, take Honey Mammoth. Call the Death Dweller. We can get a Boot Nipper. Yeah, I think I think this is actually fine, especially if we can get like uh I'm gonna take this just in case. If we can get one of the three threes with um Death Dust, Menace, or Lifelink. Eh, sure, in case we're white. Goriak. I also miss Swole Mike. Rob is great. Yeah, that's fine. Take another Blitz Leech. Oh, another one. Alright, so we got the Unexpected Fangs anyway. Oh, Mecha Godzilla. I don't hate that. Another Blood Curdle. I think this guy's also just very good. Yeah, I'm gonna take this guy. Oh, Planeswalker. I mean, we have two dead weight, a blood, a blood curdle, a blitz leech. I don't think we super need, uh... We also have back for more, which is removal. Uh... I mean, we're never playing Narset, unfortunately. Oh, what up, Jeff? Long time no see, my dude. Hmm... Pack's pretty bad. I'm just taking the planeswalker. Victory is just another I'm not above it. Solved. Um Space Godzilla works well with back for more as well. There is the unbreakable bond. Hmm. Is this one that's enters the battlefield? That's not bad. This guy is 8, though, which means we can hit it off of Garuda. Yeah, I kind of like that. And maybe we get another Unbreakable Bond, Eerie Ultimatum. Oh, yeah, we're 100% taking the Eerie Ultimatum, right? And then trying to fix our mana base around it. I mean, that's white-black. I don't think it's a third dead weight. Yeah. Yeah, it seems good. I mean, worst case scenario, we don't play it, right? Dark Bargain? I like a Dark Bargain. <whistles> Mutual Destruction's rough. I mean, it's just literally 
bone splinters, right? Was there an Abzan crystal there? I don't even think I saw it. Could just be du durable coil bug. How many creatures do we have that we really want to sacrifice? I don't think we're Mr. Mysterious Egg Deck. I, don't, oh, I guess we're just taking Starling Development. All right. Charge of the Forever Beast. Yeah, this card's actually just fine. We have a bunch of big fat idiots in our hand, too. Uh, you're fine. Yeah, I, well, right, I know. <clears throat> uh, fumes. Meh. Yeah, boot nipper number three. So this is 26 of three lines. This is actually the deck, I think. <laughs> oh, there is the Abzan crystal. Now we're taking it. Christopher, how are you, my dude? I miss you, buddy. Just take it. Just take that stupid thing. Uh, unfortunately, we will not we'll not be playing a companion. How many creatures? Twelve creatures. I am existing, Chris. That sounds bad. Chris, what can I do to help you? What can I do to make it better than just existing? Cure COVID. Uh. Uh, well, you see. <laughs> so this is actually one, two, three, four, five white sources. We need two of them. The 17 lands. Okay. Change that den for moving expenses to COVID testing funds. <laughs> Would that really help, though? I don't know, man. I don't know, buddy. So there's no really creature card from your hand. Deals damage equal to target creature or planes with a really card's power. That seems good. I mean, that's going to be basically a blood curdle, right? I think we take lurking. De I don't want to take any creatures out though, because we have like plus like one, two, three, five of our creatures of our twelve creatures cost a million mana. Yikes! I think we can cut call the death dweller. Yeah, seems fine. So this is seven, eight, nine, six, seven, eight, and then five. Done. Seems good. Is monstrous stuff good? I mean, like, we have a lot of good creatures to put it on. I mean, we're finding out. I've never played it in a an actual event, so. I mean, again, it's just like if they have a blocker that you want to get rid of, you just get rid of it. And ideally, you put it on a big fat trampling idiot. Yeah, I'll keep this. Give this guy lifelink. Oh man, I'm triumphed up over here. Okie dokie. Guess we're immediately playing against the cycling deck. Seems good. Okie dokie. Keep the Triumph in hand in case you want to cycle it later. We already got double white, so. Heck yeah. 
Hexproof. Seems good. Honey Mammoth don't give an F. Oh, uh, no attacks. <sighs> yep. I mean, this guy's just got to go, right? Sure. This guy's just gonna get worse, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can't do both. Actually, we'll probably get rid of this guy, right? Yeah, that seems better. Yeah, we probably should have waited then. I, I was thinking of killing this in response because it could just get bigger, but the first striker is really where you want to... the thing you want to avoid here. <laughs> See, that's funny. Good. Seems fucking obnoxiously good. Two, three, four. So we got a six here. Sure. Or go to four, rather. That's what I meant. Oh, so we're just dead on board. We block, block, and then we take four? Sure. Seems good. Oh, wow.
What? They're just giving us all these turns? And Eerie Ultimatum goes to the graveyard. Unfortunate. Sure. Oh boy. Well, we had a good run against the bullshit cycling deck. Always a pleasure. And we have two dead weights. We couldn't draw any of them, I don't think. Um, let's take Unlike Elliot out for Unexpected Fangs. I think the, uh, the lifelink feels more relevant. This doesn't really do much, right? Take out Step for Fumes. It does kill the 1-1 one, one, and the two 1-1s. One, all the 1-1s. One, one. That seems fine. Am I still fired? Wow. Mark, I'd forgot, forgotten all about you, you being fired, buddy. I just expected you to come into work like normal. But you never did. I mean, this hand's pretty good. Yep, that thing's pretty annoying. Oh, boy. That's gonna be... Oh, we missed a counter because we played it post-combat. Oh, God, that was so stupid. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Especially if we could have gotten, like, Hexproof or plus one, plus one. Yeah. That just comes with inexperience from playing this rare, so... Vigilance. Cool. Well, you got it. I mean, ultimatum is going to be nice if we can cast it this game. We're doing another green source. And another white slash green source. Uh, no blocks. Alright, we're getting there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna do this now so that they can't like cycle in response to kill it. So. Oh, what up, Neil? Good seeing you, buddy. A lurking dead eye. I mean, do you want to trade? I think it's actually fine. Oh, they didn't want to trade. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have green, green, and then we have white, white. But we also have 
So any white or any green is actually just perfect for us. Cool. Hexproof. <laughs> uh, really? No. Interesting. Oh, we should have totally played this. Wow, so bad. Cycle this dude. Take white and mossy boy. I guess we actually should have taken the lands, right? What do we get back here? Uh, lots of things, actually. Life like this time. Well, hexproof. Menace. Okay. Plus one, plus one, sure. Oh, God, the hexproof is super annoying, but we kind of have to do it. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Don't be flying. First strike, sure. Woo! All right. Well, that's a thing. So hard for the money. Really hard for the money. But you never treat her right. Yeah, I think Wilt's actually not bad here, especially because it cycles. I'll do 41. Can't get two six drops. Um, yeah, this is not great, but Yep. How about a dead weight? Suffocating fumes one time. Is there a two mana creature I could play at instant speed? Okay, that's weird. I don't know, I also don't know what they're playing around there. I'm like, I don't know what cards are in this format that do what you're afraid of. Let's not make the same mistake twice. Oh, it floats! I mean, if, if, if I'm winning against the cycling deck because they get mana screwed, like, 
I'm good. <laughs> so they have no lands and no cyclones. Yeah, what's your hand felt? <laughs> Get out of here, dude. I, don't, I have no sympathy for the uh, the mana screwed cycling deck. You chose to play 14 lands in your deck. Oh, divine arrow, sure, but like, you're gonna you're gonna cycle five times before you ever get value off that card. Like, that's weird, right? Like, if you're playing around divine arrow, like, you're gonna have to make it a five five. So, you're just gonna sit there and have it be a one one until you, or like, sit there and have it never attack unless you uh. Cycle five times, like, that seems weird. Uh, let's see, six drop, six drop, six drop, eight drop. One land. I think we'll mull. I think we'll keep. Put you back, fat daddy. Oh, no, I'm not saying you were saying it was a good play. I'm just explaining, like, why it's not a good play, I guess. Oh. Interesting. And they have a companion. No blocks. Oh, boy. Like we should have attacked there. I thought that guy was a one three for some reason. Usually because looters are very frequently one threes. Sure. Interesting. Well, that guy will be good in four more turns, I think. Mono six drops dot deck. I think we just cycle this. Like we have white, white, we have black, black. <laughs> okay, that was good. We just got another land out of it. Clipmaster General, that's fucking hilarious, dude. Oh, man. Oh, man. The ice drop was so good, dude. <laughs> I just dropped some ice. You just dropped some ice? I did, yeah. Did it fall out of your mouth? Yep. <laughs> it just, like, falls right down. Well, I'm wishing we had death touch at this point. Get in there with this one, too. Come on, buddy. Oh, God. <laughs> Affinity, man. You are... God. So valuable. Bye. 
Boot nipper. Ha <laughs> ha, Denmark, what's going on, buddy? Man, cycle is something. I don't even know what this is. I bet it's Mike just saying, oh, you know. With your new license. Your mom's house. You're going to go to my mom's house first. <clears throat> yeah. That's pretty cool. What are you guys going to do? Oh, you know. I don't. Can you, what, are, what are you guys going to... Sexual intercourse. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well... <laughs> huh. Well, isn't that something? Where are you going to drive first? With your new license. <laughs> oh, good gravy. Oh man, what are these cliffs, dude? What's the question? Like how much uh how much I gotta donate to you to get for you to wet Willie Frank on stream. Oh not much. <sighs> okay, so for anyone who couldn't make out what he said, it was <laughs> It was wet willy barbecue sauce, is what he said. It was basically a bastardization of the old Chili's Baby Back Ribs song. <laughs> I don't have any words, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, Michael B. You're a goddamn treasure. Oh, man. <laughs> what would a chicken horse sound like? I don't even know what this is. Mike B, what would a chicken horse sound like? A chicken horse. That's right. Buck ball. <laughs> oh boy. These, <laughs> these are this is quality content. Wet Willie's barbecue sauce. What's going on here? T -t -t Today, Junior. Thank goodness what? Let's see what this one is. Thank goodness? Yeah. What? Thank goodness what? Thank goodness what? I knew you were gonna... <laughs> 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 Jesus. No one really got him. <laughs> I fucking knew you were gonna do it. I was like... I can't. Oh, good gravy. <coughs> Look at this little idiot. I think Mike B is in the plus column, but not by very much. Oh, give me that vigilance. Good lord, man. Affinity. You are doing the lord's work here, buddy. Kill it.
Let's end the turn. <sighs> well, that's unfortunate, I guess. What is four fat chickens? I don't even know what that one is. Red Aldrazi deck. Here's a blue Red Aldrazi deck that's got no Okos. Four Brazen Barra though. Four, four fat chickens. Four fat chickens <laughs> riding down the street. Four fat chickens, give me their meat. <laughs> okay, when you say they're riding down the street, how, how, the car. Would, you, how would you say they're riding down the street? In a car, huh? Yeah. In a car. So they're just riding along on the... It, whose car? The dad's. There's a blue red Eldrazi deck that's got... <laughs> it's nice that these songs are still just as funny now as they were when, when, he, when he did this. Oh, boy. Oh god, beef stew? What are these? These are fantastic. Go on. Take to the place. Country road to the place. Where it belongs. Where it belongs. West Kentucky. Oh, we're failing. Mountain, Mountain musket. <laughs> oh man, Mountain Musket's a good one. Just got home from Illinois. Michael B. O. Boy. Yeah, I know what I revealed. Got to sit down, take a rest on the porch. Memories and chicken wings are playing in the band. Take a ride on the chicken wings. Do -do -do -do. Uh oh, they're gonna, they're gonna rolling temblor this guy, rumbling rock slide it. Oh, just that thing. All right, it's whatever, dude. Gonna take a nap on the flying boot and do do. I want the lifelink. Give it to me. Burp, 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 burp. Oh, hey, Rick. I'm at 16 life. You got it. Cycle like those trash cards. Cycle your trash cards. Put them in the graveyard. Resolve it. Oh, Emma, thanks so much for the host, buddy. Really appreciate it. You are the hero we need. But not the hero we deserve. Uh, sure. Yeah. Does that make me Batman? Yes, that's correct. Oh, look at this. They're going to draw a million cards. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. God, so many triggers. What new card that was it a companion saw playing Legacy? That sounds like a fiction to me, buddy. You got a you got fire fire eye prophecy. I don't know what that card's called. 
I just added an eye to the name because because it's got a big eye on it. Fire prophecy. Is that what we're calling it? <clears throat> You're going to kill this thing? Get in there with that bird. One, two, three, four, six, seven. Seven, seven. Memories and Michael B's are living in the trash. Get in there. See what happens. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, all of them. They're all in there. Um... Oh, 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 biscuits. We have nothing else to do with our mana, so we're just going to activate this now and gain another life and kill all your guys. And uh, I think we're ultimatuming next turn. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> we can get three Godzillas back next turn? Unbelievable. Yeah, I'll take I'll take eight here. And then I'll Godzilla you. <clears throat> Are you going to, you're going to one here? Oh no, you got a, you got a thing. That's pretty good. Who am I putting the dead weight on? Probably this thing because it flies. Might as well get in there, right? <clears throat> oh, they got a blocker. <laughs> <laughs> That's how much I don't care. I'm like, you know what? That's fine. I'll allow it. You can just eat my thing. We should have attacked first. Then we could have got this back and put, like, a lifelink counter on here. Okay. Now what? <laughs> what's your what's your move now? Okay, I have one card in hand. Oh, I see. Suicide. Got it. Got it. This guy's got trample, and you have what five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you're gonna take one from this if you triple block. Yeah, all right. <clears throat> this was just—I was just asserting dominance by attacking my my one three into their five three. Sometimes you just gotta let them know who's boss, you know. I feel like plummet's probably decent here. I only have like twelve creatures, right? Yeah, I don't want to cut any creatures. <laughs> Probably get rid of impulse for plummet. That seems fine. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> Where can I get four fat chickens as my ringtone? You just download that dude from the from the Twitch site. And then you put it on your phone. It's a real it's a real DIY uh process, but it's doable. Okay, I'm gonna look at this this classic with Mike as a floating head. <laughs> okay, okay, that's like that's that's actually pretty amazing. Wow, that's fantastic. <laughs> it's actually very good.
Oh, of one mind. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, I guess because if you have a young pyromancer out, you just pl no. I guess you'd have to you have to you'd have to have a trigger first. That's still interesting. Yeah, this hands this hands. We have two playables. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Oh, Gabriel with the Patreon support. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Also, if you guys want to support me on patreon.com slash franklaporter, you can go ahead and do so for $1 to $2 a month. It's basically nothing. And if you guys are coming in here and watching the stream regularly and you're not supporting the channel in any way, that's fine. But it's a good way to do it. It's a good way to do it for one or two bucks a month. It's not a lot. I believe in you. I think you can do it. <coughs> Well, this guy could use another... Oh, dang it. This guy could use another... Another butt. A clip-watching stream. Cool. Having a good time. Goodbye. I'll see you later. I'm going to death touch this time. The problem is we want a green. Not next turn. Next turn we want a five... Uh, something we can play that's good. Give me that, give me that Mecha Godzilla. That guy will probably die though. Sure. It's a lot of removal you're using on my, on my terrible, terrible nerds. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so the only thing we can cast is Dead Weight here. <sighs> I really play. I think they're gonna play the five, five, which is why they got that guy out of the way. Although this is an instant, so I don't know why you'd use it at sorcery speed, but... <clears throat> and they did not play that guy. That guy is pretty decent. Do we have... and just a boot nipper, huh? Green source would be nice. Can I get a green source? <clears throat> Shoot your stupid bird in the face. All right, well. So we're gonna go to six. It's pretty rough. Get him. A little counter it. <clears throat> oh wow, that's wild. I guess we're going to five. Honey Mammoth, one time. Give me a forest untapped. One time. Come on. Ooh. They almost did me so dirty there. But they didn't. We're back in the saddle again. They have no cards but a loot tree in the... All right, nice. <clears throat> I wonder if they just cast Lutri here as a dude. Cast him as a man. Really? Four, five, six, and this is eight damage? That's greedy. Hope you didn't draw a counter spell. I'd be real sad. <clears throat> you did not. Give me that. Give me that card that gives me the lifelink. That's the opposite of lifelink. Six, seven, and we can get back just a boot nipper, huh? I don't think they're going to play Lutri here. I don't think putting us to four is really that good. Plus, they could have just done it last turn. Ha, 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 ha. 
This is nice, actually. <clears throat> so we're going to take two. We're going to actually back for more of this guy, gain another four. Fight this, block this. Oh, yeah, that's going to be great. Oh, yeah, this, this is magical. Did you just call me Mike? Smokey Loki, that's pretty hilarious. <laughs> that was nice. See, that was okay. <clears throat> now we got a game here. Uh, I'm gonna take these two. Wish I wish I did this first. But, you know, what are you gonna do? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, alright, that's pretty good. <laughs> Gumdrop. <laughs> uh. <laughs> what is how does he do? <laughs> oh my god, it falls out multiple times. <laughs> How does he not keep it in his mouth? <laughs> Are you okay? Did you just drop your gun? Yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> oh, that's geez, that's that's quality. See, that's quality. All right, <clears throat> see if we can three zero. We've already faced two red X decks, so. Thank you for coming to my Red X talk. <laughs> See, that's a solid that's a solid TED Talk reference there. <clears throat> if anybody knows where I can get a magic keyboard for my iPad without having to wait until like June, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> oh, don't say mouth manipulation. Oh, uh, I think this Humble Naturalist and two Cyclers make this keepable. Especially with a back for more. Oh, that's not bad. <clears throat> like, Rod's hitting a third land is pretty good. Are you paired against players with your same record? I don't actually know. Have you tried looking on Newegg? I don't think Newegg actually has things like that. If they do, though, I'm sure Newegg's back ordered. God, how many Forbidden Friendship decks am I playing against today? Like a hundred? Alright, we're gonna pass. <sighs> Definitely cycling this guy. Give it to that guy. Give me that. Give me that Colossus. That that three mana metro, meta mecha Godzilla. Dang it. We're just gonna play this because one more mana. Let's let's play back for more, which is pretty good with uh, eleven eleven against the red green deck. <clears throat> Also, unlikely aid. Then we got a 2 4. Oh, this is the. Uh, this is not the plus one plus one. Uh, I guess we're all cycling here. Oh, Tyranate. That'd be sick if you could do that. <clears throat> you can let me know how to pay you. A what? <laughs> what are you talking about, Neil? God. You're real weird today. Mm. 
Mm, yeah, my turn. Thank you. That's not the land we're looking for. Oh, what up, Lil Wiggy? <laughs> oh, Smoky Loki with the gifted sub to Lil Wiggy. Good gravy. No attacks. End the turn. I mean, maybe we should be attacking with this guy. He's got trample after all, guys. Ninety-nine red balloons go by. Memory <laughs> die. Oh god, it's so sad. A magic keyboard for the iPad, it is, I'll show you guys. It's very specific. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, so we're gonna pass to their attackers. I imagine they're gonna attack with this dude. I can't block it effectively. I could just blood curdle it though. <clears throat> That's a magic keyboard. I think we just take three here. Like, there's no reason to waste the blood curdle when we have back for more next turn, which is gonna easily be able to eat this dude. 99. Oh, that's gonna be bonkers. If we end of turn get this guy back for an 11 11 and then make it 18. Oh, and if we hit another land, we can unlikely aid. Oh, no, I guess we. Wait. Yeah. We need seven, right? We have six. They're just going right into the combat step. Give me that Godzilla back. <sighs> Goodbye, Godzilla. That made me sad. I guess we're playing Space Godzilla. Space Godzilla. Be sure to kill it with your blood curdle. All our well laid plans. Hossmania, are you looking at the the eleven inch? Because the twelve point nine inch is sold out, I believe. Uh, let's go to combat. Um, yeah, let's go in there with this guy. They're going to block and make two, two tokens? Sure. Yep, resolve. Yep, you got it. Do it again? Alright. Resolve. Let's go to damage. But not, why wouldn't you tap this guy so that I could keep up my friggin' indestructible spell? Well, I don't know. Well, I'm just Magic Arena. What do I know? Dang it. Oh, I see. I see. Na, 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 na. Doesn't get trample, right? We can actually put this on this guy. And then we're just... Then we're just bouncing off the walls. Force the block here. These guys are doing well. Mm 
you. <laughs> What's the verdict? Ram through. <sighs> All right. All right, so uh, monstrous step, not terrible there. It also cycles, guys. I don't know if you know that. I was looking at our graveyard. I don't know what's going on here. Dead weight on my guy. Okay. So you've got to have a way to deal with this guy. I mean, even if you steal this guy, it's only 11. Okay, so I was a two for one basically because this guy's fine. Okay, that that was not terrible. Yeah, so if we attack here, next turn we can blood curdle and give this guy menace, and that's actually it's pretty good. Uh, yeah, resolve it. Let's give you death touch. I don't feel like we're in a lifelink position right now. Tiger Nate, no worries, buddy. I'm pretty sure it's just slow on production due to coronavirus, but... No, 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 no. Got him! <clears throat> Are we gonna 3 0, guys? Is that what's happening? RC Willie? <clears throat> Is that true? That's interesting. How can you tell it's in stock? What if I hit add to the cart? Um, yeah, I'll keep this hand. Is this actually a store in Utah? That would be amazing. I could probably just drive there. I'm gonna have to do a little check see after this match. Oh, that's nice. Our hand is pretty bonkers right now. We also have double white now, so... What if they had an ability like cycling that you could cycle it in play called some like board cycling? That's interesting. I love it when you say I love when you say doo-doo board. Do I do I say that a lot? I don't even know I said that that frequently. 
I'm just gonna pass here. <clears throat> sure. That's a thing. Um, <laughs> in a CFP video. Whoa, wow. <clears throat> that was ages ago. Empty chance. I appreciate you remembering that. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. Uh, I'm going to kill this so they can't mutate onto it. And because we have multiple dead weights, and it's just the thing to do. Like, next, next turn, if they wanted to go, like, migratory great horn, like, I don't want that to happen. Four fat chickens driving cars for the apocalypse? That'd be wild. Space Godzilla. Why couldn't... Oh, my God. If this is on the top of my library, can you imagine, dude? We hit nothing, but we got another proud Will Bonder. Not as good as Space Godzilla, but that's okay. No, 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 no. I mean, I'm just going to block here, right? Because it gets their guy. It's a two for one stuff. It's a one and a half for one. It's a one and a half for none, actually, because that card was free. Oh, man, we can back for more our Gigan and then, like, put more cards in the graveyard for this year ultimatum. Oh, this is... This game is over, dude. <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'm just going to pass here. And it's a 6-6, six, six, so you get to kill one, block the other. Oh, good gravy. Let's mill more cards for the Eerie Ultimatum. Probably should have fought this. Like, if they have a... Yeah, alright. And we still get the trigger. Oh, we get the trigger we can get it back? No, we can't. That doesn't work like that. Uh, Honey Mammoth, for sure. <laughs> uh, block... Why can't I block here? He's got Menace. Okay, sure. Let's block here. I was like, why can't I block? I don't like it. Oh my god, dude. Your ultimatum is insane right now. So this is one too many green, unfortunately. I'm gonna give this dude lifelink because death touch, we're not gonna be able to block this guy because of the uh, the menace. So. so what do we got? We got white, white, black, black. We need a specifically a black or a white. This is all fine. Everything you kill just gives me. It just feeds me. Black or white. That's the not what we're looking for. I mean, we'll probably win before it's relevant, to be honest, so. This is the most dangerous honey mammoth that's ever lived. I mean, there, we have no we have no issue with just throwing guys away here to... Bl Wait, what? Menace. It has menace. The, the ability we've already confirmed that it has. Oh, we... Oh, and we didn't deadweight here? God, we're just terrible at this game. We're just throwing away wounds here, guys. It's okay. We're really just trying to live to your ultimatum. That's all we're trying to do. Oh, that's a good one. It's not going to do it, though. Nope. No attacks, huh? 
I mean, all three of our guys are lethal, so. Oh, the wrong color triumph. Dang it. 3-0. Three, oh, couldn't, couldn't get that ear ultimatum off. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash frankofor, patreon.com slash frankofor, manatraders.com, coolstuffinc.com. Every Wednesday, there's a new article. You can use promo code FRANK5 to get 5% off. 20% off the first three months of any subscription at manatraders.com with the link and promo code down below. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to slam those like and subscribe buttons. I love you guys. I'll see you later.